Hello, my name is Paul, and I want to show you how you can make cufflinks, even a tie clip if you want, in Photoshop. So you can see the shape right here. It's a cufflink. Now, what is this and how was it made? Well, it's a 3D layer, as it shows right there. So I can open up that 3D panel, and you can see sort of all the different shapes. In fact, as I select them, you can see I'm just doing Command-H to hide those lines, but you can see it's made up of cylinders. So if I select Current View, those cylinders are right there in the back, okay? So you can see that cylinder back is going to be sort of the area you need to make sure that it's going to fit through the cufflink hole, if you will, and then sort of this cylinder right here connecting those two. And those were basically made with basic shapes. So right in here, and notice how you have all these different options and you can add a cylinder. So that's how it was put together. All right, and if I rotate this back up, you can see that shape at the top and that's this shape. And how was that made? Well, to be honest with you, it was just made with a simple shape. So I can select, say for instance, a heart if I want to uh, and create this heart shape and then it was just extruded, okay? So here's my new heart shape and uh, I can rotate that around but that's just an extruded shape that was made so I will delete that layer because all you really need to do is go in here for this shape layer and anything that is extruded if you open up the properties panel you'll see right in here edit source so I can click edit source and there's that original shape okay uh, yes, it is a color picker. Notice we also have some other shapes in here. There's the pen tool. Uh, chances are you're going to want to make something specific for you or a loved one. Uh, my dad's initials, for instance. Uh, RT, just like that. Turning off that layer, closing that, you can see RT right there. And keep in mind, this is pretty small. So if I switch back to the final, that's pretty small. So you can't have a ton of detail. Uh, and it does... Uh, you know, to be honest with you, might break down a little bit. So the thicker and bolder, the better it's going to be. But for that shape, you can get even more advanced as I select shape. You can go in here uh, to this third option, which is going to be uh, the cap or bevel. Okay, so from there, notice how I can start to bevel this out if I want to, sort of adjusting it any way. I want to or even add sort of sort of rounded corners or just making it a little more interesting uh, notice you can also scale it up rather than editing source you can scale up that particular shape so selecting that shape I can scale it up just like that uh, but those are the initials all fully customizable just hit edit source you can change or draw what you want in that PSB file and then all you need to do is print it out so the easiest way to do that is select scene and then right over here it's this second option 3d print settings selecting that there notice how it's changed actually shows me sort of the print bed size you can see uh, this is the printing machine is about that size so we get an idea for its size just like that and uh, nonetheless you can see i have shapeways selected i'm going to have them do the fulfillment see it's set to gold plated my dad's worth gold plated but there is also brass, bronze, ceramic, uh, steel, plastic. What I'm going to do is I could pick any one of these materials, but I'm going to select the detailed plastic, the detailed plastic white, okay, because I want this 3D shape to be as tight as possible. So I'm selecting something that says detail, okay, so detail plastic gives me that look. The thing is, is I could always change it later. So click it right here, start print. It's going to make that one solid uh, mesh, if you will, combining all those objects, thickening walls, uh, repairing anything that it needs to repair. It just does everything to make sure it's going to print out effectively through Shapeways, which is going to do the fulfillment for us. It's going to give me uh, a price, but you can see it right here. And uh, it just gives me the cheap price for the detail plastic white, which is fine. I can always change that later, but you can see the representation right here. Uh, in fact, I can zoom out a little bit just so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. You'll see two different colors in here, potentially three, the original mesh and then where it's thickened. So depending on how detailed your item is and how small it is, it will have to thicken the walls to make sure it prints out successfully. So that's what's going on there. You can see everything else is nice and clean, but the good thing is, is we know this is going to print out effectively. Okay, so what do I do as I click export?
put this on my desktop and I will just call this RT. It'll export it out. It asks me if I want to upload the files to Shapeways, which is exactly what I want to do. Uploading that file. Scrolling down, you can see the item right here. You can see how it's going to print out. Actually looks very clean. And then Shapeways does various checks on these different materials. So I can print it out in acrylic, clear down into stainless steel, and it starts to give me that price breakdown. So about $15 uh, for stainless steel, which is probably what I would select. Adding that to the cart. In general, it's all about the amount of materials that are being used as well as the size. So try it out today. Download that file and uh, give it a whirl and make somebody happy this holiday season.